sweetie. All right, hello everybody. Here we are in the annex with our brand new mom cat. This is, whoops, this is Cahoots. Her name is Cahoots, that's C-A-H-O-O-T-S. Cahoots, um, and uh, like when we introduced her, you will notice that she does have a bit of a head tilt and uh, you know, she walks around a little funny sometimes. Um, but uh, we took her to the vet this morning to get her x-ray and to get her, uh, her first little checkup and see how she's doing. And uh, briefly, the vet doesn't see anything wrong with her. Um, you know, it could be that maybe she had an old uh, infection or injury and the head tilt's just something she's gonna keep, but we'll be able to get a better look at it over time. And uh, at the very least, once she gets her spay, uh, we'll probably get to have a better look at it too. So that's gonna be a while. Uh, meanwhile, uh, that we did do an x-ray today. We found out she's got so many kittens in her. Uh, I'll let you guys all make the obvious pun. I'll just, I'll leave that there for you. But uh, on the x-ray, we can definitely see five kittens. There could be even more. It's just a whole lot of kittens just crammed in there. Uh, she is a very tiny cat. And I don't think that she is nearly big enough to be delivering uh, five plus kittens. So I would expect it to be the better part of three weeks uh, before she delivers. I hope, fingers crossed, because that gives her plenty of time to eat and grow big, uh, which we would like. So um, uh, as, as we've said before, you know, we kind of figure that if we can see kittens on the x-ray when we bring her in, which we can, that she's got, um, you know, a couple of weeks left, although... Uh, technically, you know, it could be anything up to three on average. Uh, I think it's usually more like two for us. Uh, her case, I'm hoping for closer to three, so we'll see. It could be a little while before she has kittens, but uh, um, they all look like they're well-formed and healthy, and she seems well-formed and healthy. Uh, so I expect it to go pretty well, fingers crossed, once the day comes. Um, they have been active. Uh, I've been seeing, like, little kittens uh, kicking inside of her. She's still pretty new to me, and so she's a little nervous about me, um, like, touching her belly and checking her kittens and stuff. So you got to work on building up that trust, too. That's another reason why I hope it takes a little while. i got more time to get to be good friends with her before the delivery, so if she needs help, uh, she's not going to be upset at me for being there, which is also important. Uh, you'll see she really likes to gobble down her food. Um, hopefully she slows down a little bit because she had a big old vomit this morning. Although I think that was from mostly eating the dry food, so we're going to take a little while before we give her any more dry food. Uh, she's a sweetie. She's, uh, she purrs. She loves to be petted and purred, and she loves to play. I think she's very young, probably about a year, uh, just based on how clean her teeth are. And that's basically all we know about her. Um, we'll find out more, um, you know, as, as we get used to her as a cat hanging around here at the Academy, so... That's the whole scoop. I just wanted to have a minute to chat with you guys and let you know also uh, the, the kittens that are here, that's Astro, Spyglass, and uh, Caliper all went to the vet with her this morning and they got their vaccines, so they might be a little sleepy today. Um, they got their vaccines and their blood work for their spays, I'm sorry, neuters that are happening on Wednesday. So on Wednesday, they will all be at the vet um, for their graduation surgeries which means it's on me to uh, open up those applications. Uh, I still would like to say, I think that if somebody's thinking about applying for them, it probably would do Trinket a lot of good to get adopted with um, either uh, Astro or Spyglass. Caliper's an option, but uh, I don't see them together as much as Astro and Spyglass. They're the ones that really have a lot of energy that needs to be worked off. Caliper seems just a little bit calmer on average. Um, and Trinket uh, has a lot of energy that needs to be worked off, and she doesn't always make friends with other cats, and she's already friends with the kittens. So I feel like that would be a real natural match for Trinket to go home with either Astro or Spyglass. Um, or both, you know, who knows? Maybe somebody wants to, to just jump right in and start a big old kitten family. Um, so, yeah, uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to get a little bit of video of them uh, in this same close-up. Um, later on today and uh, get that published, you know, tomorrow by the robots. Um, otherwise, I don't think I have too much to cover right now. Uh, it's been a real busy morning, so i got to go see what I can do now. Come here, cutie pie.
she loves this. She loves all of her toys, but she seems to have a lot of fun with this little, uh, this is a silver vine stick with uh, some feathers on it. I guess she's got to clean herself up after eating. Oh, no, there we go. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's a fun one, huh? Uh, you know this, you'll notice that I keep putting the barrier up in front of the door, and that's because she does. Uh, sometimes she doesn't mind the kittens out there, but sometimes they get a little active and she wants to growl and hit the door. So better just to keep that from being an issue. And also, uh, I'll be cleaning the room next door soon so that she can have that space, too, because, well, like I said, I want her to take a while before she delivers her kittens, and uh, the next room might just be a little uh, less uh, potential stress. So it would be good for her to have that space, too. We'll see. Teaching her who the enemy is, the picture of Maggie that she can attack. There you go. Learn. There you go, Manchurian candidate here. Oh. 